Hello, my name is Ian Duncan, and I'm the author of Scheme for Max, the open source Max MSP package for scripting and live coding Max with Scheme Lisp. In this video, I'm going to walk you through installing it from scratch on a Macintosh. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we do is go to the Scheme for Max GitHub repository and go to the Releases tab, which is over here in the bottom right corner. We see the release 0.2 beta, that's the most recent release, and we're going to download the tarball. There's just one tarball for both Mac and Windows. It's pretty small, so that shouldn't take too long to download. Okay, we're done. Now I'm going to switch to a terminal. You can, of course, do this in the Finder as well, but for the purpose of the video, I'll demonstrate it in the terminal. And we're going to move the file from our downloads into the Max8 Max package directory. Now I'm in my Max8 package directory right now, which on a default installation is under Documents, Max Space 8. And you can see I have a directory called Packages. If you don't have a Packages directory, you should make a directory with that name, uppercase P, Packages. I'm gonna go into my Packages directory and you can see the only package I have in there is the max test package from Cycling74. I will move the downloaded tarball. And I'm going to untar it. Tar XVF scheme for max. And there we go. Of course, you can do this, I believe, at the... Uh, in the finder by just double clicking the tarball. Once you've done that, you can get rid of that tarball file. We don't need that anymore. And we have the package directory. If we go into the package directory, you will see that we have externals, extras, help, and patchers. And let's open that in the finder as well. So here's my max8 directory in the finder. In packages, I have scheme for max, and here are all the folders. The important one is here. This is the external s4m.mxo. Now, before we go any further, on new versions of OS X, Catalina and above, there is a requirement for you to authorize this because it's not a code signed external. Unfortunately, as I don't have Catalina, I'm not able to walk us through that. If you do this and you know how and you can comment on the YouTube video, I can update the description with the information about what exactly you have to do. I do know it's not complicated because I've had people do it, but unfortunately I haven't been able to get any screenshots of the process. So this should be all you need to install Scheme for Max. It just needs to go in the Max 8 packages directory and then Max will be able to find it. So let's open Max. Okay, and let's go to the package manager. So under file show package manager, this will show us all the installed packages we have. It opens up in remote packages. So up here, we're gonna change this to installed packages. And now we see scheme for max is installed and you can see all the information. Okay, I'm gonna close the package manager. You can launch the help file here from the launch button but we're not going to do that right now. We're going to create a new patcher and create a scheme for max object just to verify that everything worked. So let's make a new patcher. Okay, you'll want to open the max console and we're going to make a new S4M object. Okay, we don't see any error messages. It hasn't turned yellow. So this means the external should be fine, but let's test this out. I'm going to make a print object and I'll just zoom this in for the purpose of easy to see on YouTube. That will print anything that comes out of my output and I'll make a message to uh, let's say out out zero the keyword hello world. So a keyword is a symbol, starts with a colon, and this is the equivalent of 
calling parentheses out zero hello world parentheses. The parentheses are added implicitly if you haven't watched the introductory video. They are added implicitly if we send a message directly to S4M. So let's try that out. Great, we can see hello world. Unfortunately, we can't zoom into the console very well. And so let's also try adding a scheme message uh, from the built-in B patcher. I'm going to make a new B patcher s4m.repl. This gives us our miniature text editor. And we need two things. We need to convert to a symbol and we need to add prepend eval string. And this is what we do to send scheme code as strings into S4M. So for a good measure, I will also create a message box so you can see what exactly is going into the interpreter. Okay. And we'll say uh, out zero, hello again. Okay, we've got hello again in our console. And you can see this is the message that went into the interpreter. So we know S4M is up and running. And if you want to see more examples, you can, of course, open the help file. So that's all we need to do to get up and running on OS X. And I will also make a Windows video. Again, if you do know how to demonstrate what we have to do for code signing on Catalina, it would be wonderful if I could get the tips in the feedback at the bottom. Thanks very much for watching, and there will be, uh, pl please do subscribe to the channel because there will be more cookbook examples and tutorials coming in the next semester, and I hope you'll join us. Thanks very much.